what up, what up, what up, y'all, Pill Box, back at it again with the top five game releases of May 2017, and it looks like there's going to be a few quality games coming out in May, and I hope these games really turn out well, so without further ado, let's get into this bad boy with this Fit Me exclusive. Now, first up to bat is the Friday the 13th game. It has a lot of hype behind it. Uh, it's going to release digitally, and it will just be the multiplayer form of the game. Now, it does have a single-player mode that is going to be releasing in the summertime. Uh, this game was kickstarted back in 2015. It raised a crap ton of money, about $820,000 worth. The multiplayer consists of eight players, seven counselors, one who plays as Jason, and it takes place in the Camp Crystal Lake, which is like a semi-open world. And if you play as Jason, you got to kill the seven counselors. And if you play as one of the counselors, you got to try to stay alive as long as possible. And if you're a fan of the Friday the 13th game, I think you're really going to like this game. It's got some amazing graphics, so keep a lookout for this game. It's going to be dropping around May 26th, and it's going to be around $40 holla. Now next on deck is Prey, which is going to be releasing May the 5th. Now uh, from what I've seen so far of this game, it does look really, really good, but looks can be deceiving. The game is a reimagining of the original Prey game that was released back in 2006, and that game was supposed to have a sequel which never saw the light of day, which was Prey 2, never came out. Now Bethesda is the publisher of this one, and this is actually created by Arcane Studios, which is uh, the makers of the new Prey, and they're also the makers of Dishonor 2, which is a very, very good game. Now, uh, there's not going to be any kind of review copies coming out for Prey, but there was a demo that was released for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but it wasn't released on PC, but uh, this game seems to have a lot of potential with it. So I just hope, you know, it really comes out good. I hope it's not a disappointment. I would probably hold off on pre-ordering this game just to see how it comes out. Now, next up is The Surge, developed by Deck 13, which has also made Lords of the Fallen which was kind of like Dark Souls style and uh, not too bad of a game. Now the Surge is kind of the same way. Uh, it's got like a Dark Souls vibe to it but with a different type. It's got like a sci-fi setting which is pretty dope I think. Um, graphics wise looks really good. Uh, release date is going to be May 16th. If you pre-order it you do get 10% off. But for me, I'm just not into pre-ordering games, man. I just like to wait till they come out. I'm pretty much a cheap bastard myself. I like to wait for games to go on sale. And that's probably when I'll end up picking a lot of these games up. I never buy them day one, and I for surely don't buy them full price. So let's just hope this game comes out good. But I am looking forward to it, though. Next up is Rhyme. Now, uh, this game has been up and down. It's got some had some problems with development. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be a PS4 exclusive, but uh, I think it was in development way too long, and Sony just decided to back out and count their losses. Now, it's going to be a multi-plat game when it comes out, so I know it's going to show up on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and also Nintendo Switch. It's a very artistic game. Uh, kind of reminds me of Zelda Wind Waker. Some people say Shadow of Colossus or Eco. It's a single player game. Puzzle platformer. Looks really amazing. Uh, it's going to be released on May 26th. Same day as Friday the 13th. So keep an eye out for it. If you reserve it, you do get another 10% off. So it'll go from $30 down to $27. But like I said before, I don't like reserving games. I like to see how they come out first. Now, last but not least, is this game called Strafe. Uh, this is a first-person shooter with an old-school touch to it. Uh, definitely a lot different type of game. Uh, reminds me of some old-school Doom. Uh, I think that's where it kind of gets its essence from. It's got some dope-ass soundtracks to it. 
Uh, it's going to be releasing on May the 9th, so I think you should definitely keep an eye out for that. It's just going to be about $20. Uh, it's probably going to be under the radar, this type of game here. Uh, some people aren't going to like it because it's very pixelated, but I think it reminds me of old school games. It looks pretty dope. So I think you can definitely get into it. A lot of good games coming out. Uh, this is going to be it for the top five game releases of May of 2017. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Some of those dope games coming out next month. Personally, I hope Prey turns out real well. And uh, I think there's some really good games out of the bunch here that I mentioned. I'm really looking to Friday the 13th as well. So uh, keep an eye out for these games coming out. And I'll hit you guys up on the next one. You guys be good. Peace.